Hi guys and welcome to Cyber Warriors YouTube channel and this is our first series on ethical hacking and cyber security as told in last video that soon we will be going to organize a proper tutorial on ethical hacking and cyber security. In our last video I have taught you how to make HTML login form using tables and uh, the second part will be posted soon. So today we are here with our Kali Linux virtual machine box basically today I am not using windows machine this is Kali Linux machine okay so we have our Linux with us so let us get started with Kali Linux so here like as compared to windows if we look on Linux there are a lot of differences right if I right click on windows operating system let me show you Okay. See if I right clicked here we have option of refresh but in Linux machine we do not have the option to refresh the screen. Why so? We will be discussing right now. If I right click on windows machine and select the refresh option. See the meaning of refresh is to re-execute all the programs which are running on this machine will be re-executed once again means all the programs will be run once again executed once again but in Linux we do not have that option to refresh a certain page certain desktop or a certain folder because as we all know that Linux is much more secure as compared to Windows just because of a function known as refresh a option which is known as refresh okay so if in future the windows machine got infected by a virus and we have a lot of and we have a lot of ideas like uh, refreshing a page so if the window is infected by a virus it will also re-execute on refreshing like all the programs re-executed so virus will also be re-executed so it will slow down the computer that's why we do not have the option to refresh a Linux machine a Linux, a Linux machine okay because if we will refresh here all the virus will be re-executed so there we do not have a refresh option so in Windows machine we have an option for all programs right but here we do not have the option for write all programs here we have an option to show applications where we can show all the applications once again if we will click on it it will be disappeared so just click on show applications here we have a lot of combos like information gathering tool vulnerability assessment web, web apps database password cracking tools wireless tools reverse engineering tools exploiting tools sniffing tools post ex exploiting tools forensic investigation tool reporting and bug bounty tools social engineering toolkits services advanced man in the middle track calculators and much more if you can see here we have an option to scroll i'm just clicking on the second option here we have Etrecap files. The default browser in Windows is Internet Explorer, and in 90% of Linux, we have a default browser as Mozilla Firefox. Then in Windows machine, you will find the default browser, the default uh, media player is windows media player but in linux machine in 95 percent of linux machine we have an inbuilt media player known as vlc media player okay so over here we have kingfisher and all leafpad and all then in the third option we have search report bug bounty and all many many things so just close that once again and uh, so here you can see in the dashboard there is an option called Firefox as you can see that and second one is terminal in Windows machine 
we have command prompt that is also known as by the name cmd command prompt but in linux we do not have a option for the command prompt if we want to execute some of the commands we need to use use the terminal okay so here we have our terminal this is called terminal in windows we have cmd or command prompt in linux we have terminals just close that here we have files to browse where all the files will be stored pictures downloads and all as compared to windows it's almost same so here we have meta exploit framework which is used for testing and much more in windows we do not have features like that linux in windows we have to install each and everything which we want but in linux 90% of the softwares are inbuilt and preloaded that's why we do not need to install the software in linux hardly for customization like ms office do not run here so we have open office library office and all so only 5% of software needs to be installed in linux rest all are pre installed and preloaded in the linux virtual machines or linux machine framework so here as you can see that meta exploit framework is loading and starting so as you can see that the meta exploit framework has been started successfully so let us close that and here you have a new tool that is known as armitage and as you can see just below that we have a burp suit which is which is being used for vulnerability assessment and pen testing and web application testing just before that we have beef cross site scripting framework which is used for cross site scriptings and all then we have a leaf pad option here in windows uh, windows machine we have a option for notepad or notepad plus plus but as compared to windows machine linux do not have a option like notepad here we have a leaf pad the function of both are almost same here we can take notes and there also we can take notes so just close that and we, here we have tweak tools and once again all the applications are there so if we look on details here we have a new option known as applications and places if i click on places there are a lot of forensic investigations tools which are already preloaded pre and inbuilt in linux machine especially in kali linux the previous name or you can say that old name was battrack 5 5r and all but in latest in trending we have a name that is known as kali and the logo or symbol for that is a dragon so just click on application favorites we have a first option known as information gathering there are a lot of tools for information gathering like uh, multigo and map zen map eater cap and all next we have option known as vulnerability analysis a lot of options are also present there web uh, web application analysis we have a burp suit vp scan wordpress scan owasp jack ht track and much more options are also available database assessment we have a js sql sql light and all password attacks so if you want to crack some password there also we have a lot of tools preloaded in linux machine kyol crunch hashtag john john the ripper jack the ripper johnny the ripper and crack oph crack and word list and if i look on wireless attack we also have if you want to crack the wireless machine or wireless network there are also preloaded software air crack ng air mon ng and much more then next we have reverse engineering so that we can reverse a particular code to its source next we have exploitation tools for exploiting a particular machine and all next we have a snipping here snipping and spoofing tools here next we have post post exploitation where we have powershell which is also can be installed in windows virtual machine or windows machine next we have forensic investigation tool which is which is also used by fbi cbi and cid and all so you can also go through that we have a lot of tools here then reporting tools are also present here then social engineering toolkit that is also known as set 
So here we have uh, social engineering toolkit, MSF payload, multigos, host phishing, beef cross site scripting framework, backdoor creation, and much more. Then we have a tool known as system services. Here we can all we can just start our services and all. Next we have usual application uh, like uh, accessories and all. So as you can see, there are already a much more bunch of softwares are preloaded and pre-installed. What we need to learn is just how to operate them and what commands are needed to just run it. All the softwares and tools are preloaded. Like if you want to hack a wireless machine, Wi-Fi and all, you do not need to worry. You have already a tool there. What is to be worried that how to operate this wireless attack software you need to learn that how to operate that all the things are preloaded just we need to learn how to operate and all so just close that and here uh, start set and press enter okay no problem so go to applications and uh, social engineering toolkit and press here so if you want to social engineer someone like if you want someone to do the same task as you want him to be performed you can use the social engineering toolkit that is also known as set in capitals here we have social engineering attacks penetration testing tool third party modules and all a lot of tools are preloaded here so as compared to windows the linux machines are much more useful for a penetration tester here we can have a vapt sessions and all like vulnerability assessment penetration tester pts like pen tester ces like certified ethical hackers and chefi like uh, certified ethical hacker and forensic investigator so this was the first tutorial and all the tutorials will be posted soon hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial so thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe this cyber warriors youtube channel and press the bell icon for future updates